welcome back to B Spice. In this session, we'll discuss about layout of instrument cable tray in control room. So this is the look and feel. Okay. So uh, we have been now focusing on uh, you know construction drawing, instrumentation construction drawing. So as part of that, we have already uploaded uh, in, um, what you call uh, the panel layout first drawing. Then the last one we uh, you know focused on MCT multi cable transit, and this is the cable tray layout in control room. Uh, please watch and get benefited. Okay. So agenda, we'll talk about the objective, why we need this cable tray uh, layout drawing. Then what are the contents actually, the look and feel. Then what are all the proprietary activities we need to do for the design. Then the actual design uh, work. Then finally, we'll wind up with a typical example. We talk about one example, project example, wherein we will talk about the you know, cable tray, what are all the aspects we need to focus, all these. Okay, very simple and easy to understand also. Okay, now objective. See, the layout why we need be used for installation of instrument cable tray in a control. So that is the intent. Then confirm the location of cable bits, field cable entry, meaning where the field cable enter into the control room and also the penetration, uh, including their dimension, material, standards, all these. See, we are preparing a cable layer to ascertain all these. Okay, right. So define the type of material and the estimate the quantity of instrument cable tray in the installation work. Uh, right, right. So then coordinate the instrument cable tray to avoid interference with the equipment hmm, by other disciplines such as you know free access flow support or maybe electrical cable tray or the pipe for the firefighting. So all those actually. Okay. So we need to uh, get a, 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 what do you call the clarity if we prepare the cable tray layout. Hmm? We will get all these clarity. Okay. That is that is that is the main objective actually. Okay. Now, what is the, you know, contents? The cable tray layout indicate the following items. What should consist? Eh? What should consist? Okay. So, pri uh, primarily, it should have a routing location and size information about the cable tray. Hmm? Routing, which route uh, and the size, what are the size uh, about the cable tray in control room and around the building. Okay. Then, Distance from the edge of the cable tray to the center of the column or wall and the distance between the cable tray and other cable tray. So this also should be part of the cable tray layout. Then installation height at how much height? Of course, it is going to be in the pit actually. Yeah, we need to know how much height. Okay, right. Then detailed drawing or the section view, not this is typo error game. It's a section view for a cable tray. See, you, 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 you would have, you know, come out with many, you know, routing and all. So we need to know the, you know, section, meaning how many cable trays are there? What is the gap between the each cable tray? All those uh, can be ascertained using this section tray. Right, section will be rather. And the material specification for the cable tray support, whether it's a ladder tray, a ladder tray or maybe, you know, uh, GI, galvanized iron, or maybe perforated tray, all those actually, yeah, we need to get this. So these are the some of the items and a few more to add on. Legend, uh, it should also have a legend. What, what for this legend? For each type of cable tray, like whether an instrument cable tray, power supply cable tray, electrical cable tray, existing cable tray, if any, and of course the location of field cable entry, cable pit and the cable penetration. Hmm? And of course the reference drawings, okay? So uh, reference drawing and additionally notes also, okay, notes, key plan, north mass, scale bar, all these actually. And one suggestion, see, uh, I don't know whether you guys have watched the previous drawings on MCT and the instrument equipment layout. So basically that instrument location layout, that, that is the, you know, the instrument panel location layout, right? That is a base drawing for preparation of MCT and for preparation of cable tree. We should use that as a base information. Hmm? Okay, that point also remember. And also this work demarcation also should be part of this cable tree layout. Okay, now what are all the proprietary activities? 
See, as I highlighted just now, the basic drawing based on the latest drawing layout of the instrument equipment in control room, wherein you have all the panels, right? Yes, that drawing we should have. Then instrument main cable schedule, which contains the latest cable information, you know, such as the cable number, cable specification, quantity, not quantify, quantity, and destination from and to, to be used for cable tray sizing and cable road study. Then interconnecting cable, huh? it's basically prepared by the system vendor, okay? And also the vendor document and drawing, which indicates the dimension, height, specification, sorry, weight, specification, installation process uh, with respect to the DAX trays, conduit, ceiling, and MCT. This is what I highlighted earlier, MCT, multi-cable transitor. So this should be prepared uh, before proceeding with the design, okay? Now we have all the documents, then what, what, what are the steps uh, to be followed when designing the cable uh, layout? So as I highlighted, we need to obtain all the design drawings, okay? Then we need to come out to the drawing size, okay? Then preferably it should be A0 or A3, depends on your requirement. And drawing scale is 1 is to 100 is fine. Uh, if it is too congested, you can go for 1 is to 50. And base drawing related to the building group layout. That means, what is that? It's a civil drawing, right? Yeah. So to be shown in the thin line, actually, the building group layout. Then equipment layout should be uh, shown in the thin line. Why? Cable routing shall be shown in the thick line. See, basically, we have to take that drawing from the building group, wherein we have all the panel location, everything. And the panel location, we need to mark it in a thin line. Okay. And why? Because this is a cable tray. So cable tray should be in a thick line. So that is the funda uh, we follow normally. Of course, I'll explain that during the example. I mean, the, when we start explaining the example. Yeah. And few more trade on. Design the instrument cable tray route in control room as follows. What are all those? Make the latest instrument cable uh, schedule available. So th with that only, we should draw hmm, how many cables, so how many trays it can, you know, uh, hold on all these, right? Then uh, study the cable route starting from the cable entry of the room. That is the point, friends. Um, study the cable route starting from the cable entry of the room to the related equipment in control room by considering simple route and eh? not like zigzag, all these uh, straight and simple route and minimum distance to cross point between cable trays. Uh, don't no need to cross uh, so many cross uh, Okay, then estimated cable volume and quantity and capacity of the cable tray, hmm? right? These are the basis, right? And cable tray route ensure the smooth installation of cable. So if you are so many zigzag, then you'll have a challenge in uh, laying. So all these should be taken into account while designing the cable tray in the control room. That is the point. And also set the sectional identification on appropriate points. What are all those actually? I'll highlight that also. See, for example, uh, you have a different, different cable tray, instrument cable tray, power cable tray, right? You put everywhere the sectional views um, so that you know the, you know, what kind of cable and how many cables are there, what is the spacing, all these you'll be able to know, okay? What happened? Yeah, yes. Draft the instrument cable tray and power supply cable tray by taking different routes in panel routes, uh, panel routes and underneath the floor in the control room. Different route. Or sometimes uh, if you, there is no space, then we can also use the spacing like 300 mm between power and supply cable, uh, I mean the uh, signal cable. Of course, it depends on your project spec. Okay. Then insert a separator. This is what I mentioned. Insert a separator to the cable tray for both signal and power supply depending on the project spec. Coordinate the routing of electrical cable tray with the electrical group to avoid clashing the cable tray and also coordinate with the building group. That is a civil team, the final routing of the cable tray to avoid clashing uh, the free access flow supports. And we need to also maintain the distance spacing between instrument signal cable and power cable at a minimum distance. Hmm? That one is related to this again, huh? this point, a separator. Okay. So these are the aspects we need to focus. Now, Okay, uh, basically, I will touch upon this, uh, the dimensional data hmm? also, like, you know, we should also have the cable tray size, width and height, then elevation of the bottom of the cable tray, distance from the edge of the cable tray to the center of the bar, okay, and column, then specific, okay, here, specify the location of support points 
in accordance with project specification. How many supports? When and all you want to have? For example, six meter interval for straight lane. Everywhere we need to have a support. Hmm? And the details about the distance and the fabrication of support points also should be uh, shown. And also pick out the section views to understand more clearly on the installation method. For example, uh, where we have to have this section for every straight line of the cable tray, for every intersection of the cable tray, for every bend portion of the cable tray, vertical and horizontal, both. Okay. So these are the places where we should have a section view. Of course, I'm going to explain that now with a typical example, you will understand. Okay. Then so the finally, the title block, drawing title, drawing number, file name, scale, job number, project title, project name, customer name, logo, name of the designer, reviewer, approver, revision number, and of course, description of the revision. And finally, the reference drawings, if any. These are the things we should focus, friends. Sir. So this is all about the, you know, uh, what do you call it? The contents, hmm? contents, meaning the contents and meaning the procedure. Hmm? Procedure we should take uh, before going in, take note before going into the actual uh, cable tray. Okay. So this is the typical look and feel. I will explain this. Uh, you allow me to toggle the screen. I will just uh, share it. Yes. Yes. So I hope uh, you can see this now. Okay. See, friend, as I explained earlier, this is the base document. Huh? This is the base document we used for the instrument uh, uh, equipment layout. Huh? So the same document we should see. First, I will explain uh, what we need to input here with, the, with respect to the legend. That is very important. Of course, the key plan all there. Uh, that is okay. So the legend, we need to be very clear. You see here, this is the, you know, without dot, uh, without uh, the length, the thick line. Cable tray for signal cables such as Ethernet, Modbus, all mostly on system cables. Uh. Then this one with the dash. Uh. So maybe I'll blow up a bit. Yeah. So cable tray for power supply. This basically power supply, all these. Uh. Then this is for the electrical cable. Okay. Right. Now, this is the, you know, support point. This is the support point size of the cable tray if for example see 450 300 150 300 all these there i'll explain that later and now i'll go into the drawing now okay yeah so this is the basic drawing which we use for the instrument equipment in control room and also for mct hmm? you can also see here the mct arrangements all there already there which we have covered so now if you look at this layout these are the panels. As you can see here, these are the panels. These are the panels. These are the panels. Okay. All these panels in the rack room. As you can see here, all these panels. Okay. Thin line. Okay. Now, I will go into the details now. So, this is my cable tray. You see here? This is my cable tray. All the way, all the way, see? All the way. Just uh, uh, listen to this. Uh, A1 and here also A1. This is the section view. Likewise, uh, all around this building, all around inside the control room, we are routing the cable tray. See, this is the panel. So we have both sides. Uh, here, if you see here, this is a, you know, thick line, right? Without any dot. Okay. Whereas here, if you see, this is a dash, dash line, thick line, dash line. And this is uh, also same. Okay. So now I will take you through one example. Okay. Right. Huh? Okay. So now this is my panels, right? This is one set of panel and this is my tray routing and ensure that you have this, you have this, you know, field cable entry huh? all these on the back side, you have a field cable entry. Okay. So basically, yeah, this one I'll explain later. First, I'll focus on this. Um, uh, okay, so this is the F actually. Okay, I'll focus on this A1. Hmm? So you can see here this A1 and here also A1 and here also A1, right? I hope uh, you can see my cursor. Yeah, this also A1, right? So now I will show you what is A1. Okay, I'll show you what is A1. 
just a guide guidance only friends so you have to you know follow your own standard and all but yeah you see here this is my a1 okay see as you can see here this a1 section is like this so here i am having a cable tray of 300 okay and bolt net all shown here and uh, this is a typical Y. Eh? There are many typical. This is the Y typical we used. I will also explain what was the typical. And this is the support. Huh? As you can see here, this is the support. So uh, the support length is 450 mm. And I'm using a L50 angle. Okay. Uh, then I'm, use, I'm using a cable tray of 300. And what is the building floor? See, from the floor, 1800 is the height hmm, of this cell. Then above that, 150 here, 150 here. Okay. So totally it's a 600 mm. Okay. So this is the one typical A1. Uh, sorry, A, uh, one section. Uh, one section. So now I will take you to A2. Okay. This is A2. A2 also not much of difference. It's same only. Then in that case, I will go to B1. C is here, A2 is here, where is B1? Uh, moment. Yeah, this typical I will come later. Typical means what kind of support you are providing. I am now looking for B1. B1 is there. Let me see. Yeah, so this is the B1, right? Yeah, it should be there. Should be there. Let us see here. A one, A one, okay. C. Ah, yeah. This is the B one. You see here, B one. So here, uh, same dimension. Okay, a little bit high. Uh, yeah, same actually. Same actually. And only the difference is the tray is only one fifty. Yeah. And the typical, I think the typical same typical. Hmm? They use the same typical. Okay. Now, so B1, B settled. Now, B2 also same. Yeah, the tray is 150. Okay. Now, I will explain you. Maybe C, I will explain the C. Okay. Maybe C, where is it C? So, now we have seen A. A, we have seen B, C, uh, we have seen and C. So, this is the area. This is the section of C. So, if you see the section of C, here we have a different, uh, you know, different uh, height, uh, different, not a height is same again, 600. The length, length, the cable tray is uh, 450, hmm? 450 mm. Okay. So that's a difference actually. Okay. And yeah, likewise, we need to come out front. So this is a section D. Say section D, you see, it's like a, uh, three trays are running parallelly. You see, one, 300, 450, and 450. Okay, let me take you through section D. Where is section D? B, we have seen. And C also, we have seen. C, ah, yeah, this is the one. So here, basically, we are running, uh, you see here, friends, this is the section, actually. See, why it is three, you know, here also, it's covering this. And it's covering this, uh, right? There are so many things actually. Here one tray routing is going, here another tray routing, and here another tray routing. So all these are taken into account. And this is the typical. Hmm? This is the typical section. B. So this is how we need to show. Simple. Just show the route and uh, explain the section details. Hmm? Okay. So now I'll coming back to the typical. Okay. So where is the typical? Okay, I think typical is this side, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is what uh, I've shown you, right? You see here, friends, this is the detail Y. So basically like this, uh, this is the support. So this is the support, this is the bolter nut, this is your clamp, and this is where the ladder tray. Okay? This is one typical. Okay? Likewise, if you have many uh, typical, then you have to use it. Okay? That's it. And if you see here, the section G, I think, there is something different actually. So probably here there is something, you know, uh, it is dropping down. Huh? It's falling actually. Falling means there is a slope here. 
So probably we see what is G. What is G we will see. And F also. G, F, all these are different actually. Okay, B is here. Okay, where is G? It's a bit a challenge actually with this uh, uh, very, 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 you know, very, what do you call that? Let's see. If it is a face-to-face -face online, I mean, offline session, it is easy, but a bit of a challenge here. B2 is there. I'm searching for this uh, C actually, a G. Yeah, this one, you see here, this is the one, G. So this is the one. So this is basically the cable entry, mm -hmm. cable entry. So if you look at the G, this guy, where is that? Yeah, G. So basically it is coming like this, friends. Huh? This is the opening. So it is not dropping, actually, it is rising. It is rising. Huh? This is the valve opening, right? Yeah. So it is coming like this. You have the cable tray and this is going and enter, entering, entering actually. Okay. So likewise, we need to have uh, all these kind of uh, sectional detail, friends. Huh? And of course, the support. Huh? This is the support point. Okay. For T450 and T300 for tray, each size tray, you have a support, right? Yes. So that is what I mentioned here. Hmm. So yeah, that is it. That's all actually. Hmm. This is the look and feel. So basically, we need to imprint all these details, uh, cable tray retail into the instrument equipment uh, uh, layout uh, details. So the layout will be light and the tray will be predominantly visible. And as usual, if you can see here, the previous drawing we talked about MCT that is there already, hmm, cable pit, all these are there. Okay. Only thing is we need to watch out for the cable entry. So panels are here. So we need to watch out for this cable entry. And here also cable entry. And accordingly, we need to route it. So that's it. Thank you. And yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in a next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.